In this video, I'm going to show you two locations and methods to easily get a perfect panther pelt. You will need to be using either the Springfield rifle or the bolt action rifle with high velocity ammo. I would not recommend a bow because it requires you to be closer to the animal and therefore more chances of it attacking you. Before heading off, make sure you have cover scent lotion and predator bait. We will also be using the save and reload method in order to spawn a three star panther or if the panther doesn't even show up at the spawn point at all. The easiest location and method is here at Harry Fens. It is found below Braithwaite Manor. Take a train to Rhodes if you haven't discovered this on your map yet and then head for Bulger Glade. Zoomed in, this is the location. Circled here is the actual spawn location of the panther. As you can see, we're at a crossroads. If you're still in chapter two, you should easily be able to find the panther straight away here. But if you're in later chapters, certain events occur which might prevent the panther from spawning. For example, if you ride to the crossroads and see smoke in the wooded area, there will either be an NPC with a campfire or William that might interfere with the panther spawn. There might also be a woman who has been kidnapped riding by. You will need to clear all these first or save and reload. Save your game at the crossroads and use the reload method if the panther hasn't spawned or if when you see the panther it's either a one or two star. You might need to do this a few times in order to get a three star. After reload you will always be here so follow my route back to the crossroads and rocks. Making sure you avoid the wooded area which is now on your left and keep in the water. With that all said let's get down to setting the bait and killing the panther. Make sure you've applied cover scent lotion and saved first. As you can see here, I run towards the rocks near the wooded area and this is where I put the predator bait down. Once it's down, I then turn around and run back to the first set of rocks at the crossroads. This is now a waiting game. Usually, if the panther is there, it will appear within two or three minutes. You will probably hear its low growl before seeing it. Keep using eagle eye and aiming your weapon into the trees beyond to see if you can knock onto it. As you can see here, I've spotted the panther, but this NPC decides to cause me some bother. So to avoid antagonizing him and spoiling it, I stop aiming and wait for him to go away. In the meantime, the panther is slowly making her way to the bait and I work out it's a three star. If at this stage it's a one or two star, remember you will need to reload your game and start again. Wait for the panther to come closer to the bait so that you can be sure of getting a headshot on it. The panther at this location spawns either day or night, but you will have more luck probably first thing in the morning. As long as you got a headshot, you should now have your perfect panther pelt. The only other location to get a panther is here. I've circled where the actual spawn point is. This panther only spawns at night, and for me, this was around midnight or onwards. To avoid the panther chasing you, make sure you start at this point marked on the map. Remember to save your game first. The idea is to follow the water's edge to the spawn location and also avoid the crocodiles along the way. When I did this, there was an event that first got in the way which I needed to clear before the panther would spawn. It was one of the night folk events. So if this happens to you, either clear it or reload your game. You might also need to ride out of the area and back again in order to reset it. Having reset the area, I will now show you how to bait and kill the panther at this location. So follow the water's edge again slowly towards the spawn point I pointed out on the map earlier. Remember, you will need cover scent lotion applied. The boat in front of me here is where I'm going to put the bait down. I will let the rest of this play out so you can see how I killed it. After you lay the bait by the boat, make sure you run back in the same direction you came from so you are a reasonable distance from the bait. From here you can watch as the panther slowly approaches. It might be useful to use a scope to help you see because it's so dark. Once you're sure you have a clear sight of her, aim for the heads and get your kill. As with the first method I showed you, if this is not a three star or the panther isn't even here, try reloading your game and try the method again. Many thanks for watching. If you find this or any of my other guides in this series helpful, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell to receive updates on when I next upload.